What are acrylic paints? A paint in general is made up of three different parts. The binder, that holds it on to the substrate, the thing we're trying to paint. The pigment, which is the colorant or the thing that gives it the color. And the vehicle. Now when we talk about acrylic paints, the binder is acrylic, the pigment's pigment, and the vehicle's water. If we were to talk about um, watercolours, the binder is gum arabic, pigment is pigment, and the vehicle is water. If we were to talk about oil paints, for instance, the binder is the oil, the pigment is the pigment, the vehicle is also the oil, so that serves two purposes. But we're talking about acrylic paint. So acrylic paint is made up of the acrylic, the pigment, and the water, which helps these two things that are basically solids uh, flow out and we can manipulate it. It turns it into a liquid form. So the binder part, the acrylic, is on a microscopic level little beads of plastic that are enveloped or, or surrounded with a chemical called coalescent and that allows them as the paint dries for the water to come out, evaporate out and those little beads to be pushed together against each other and the coalescent allows them to chemically bind together. Now we've got other videos on that and you can look in more detail at that. That then gives us the structure to hold the pigment onto the substrate. So the pigment uh, impregnates the, the plastic if you like film and that's what acrylic is. When acrylic is dry, when the acrylic paints are dry, they remain water fast. So in other words, they won't wash back off again, which is a benefit over watercolour, for instance, that, that will re-dissolve. The acrylics dry quite quickly compared to, say, oils. So it allows you to move forward and progress through your work quite quickly. The versatility of application with acrylics means that you can work in a watercolour technique reducing the uh, the colours right down get a watercolour type effect or go completely the other way and use it in a really thick heavy bodied manner to get a real impasto or relief finish this allows you to build a really high surface without fear of cracking which might happen with something like oils. But acrylics versatility don't stop there. They can be applied to just about any surface. Obviously all porous surfaces can be used. Um, good idea sometimes to put down a sealer first if you're painting on terracotta or something that's really porous. You can paint onto non-porous surfaces as well such as glass or plastic once again, actually using an adhesion promoter like clear seal or polymer gloss varnish first, put a layer of that down to give good adhesion between the paint surface and the actual substrate. You can paint on fabric, wood, cardboard, paper, canvas, concrete, bricks, just about anything. Acrylics are fantastic for mixed media. The acrylic can even be used uh, by themselves to make sheets of acrylic that can then be folded or, or moulded and used in a sculptural type effect. And certainly uh, any sort of uh, mixed media type uh, works. So there you are, brief explanation of what acrylic paints are and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.